Hi sweethearts! Today's vlog is a few days later than I usually post as I've been struggling a bit this week. I'm really trying to keep posting regularly as it's good for me to have this creative outlet and learn new things. But realistically it's not always going to be regular as I have my ups and downs. Anyway, this video was filmed a couple of months ago when I was applying for an art exhibition put on by Sydney's smallest gallery. They're a yearly exhibition that is so small only one viewer at a time can see it. The artworks are all under three centimetres in size and are curated into a tiny adorable little dollhouse sized art gallery that you have to peep at through holes in a wall. It's a really cool concept. I had some works in it last year so I thought I'd create some tiny acrylic skins for this year's exhibition. In the end I never actually got them into the gallery but who knows, maybe they'll have another call out. So here you can see I've put down a sheet of baking paper and I'm making acrylic skins. An acrylic skin is a dried piece of paint that you can pick up and hold on its own without any substrate like canvas paper or wood. To make an acrylic skin, you paint on a surface you can easily peel the paint off when it dries. I use baking paper because it's cheap and easy to get a hold of. Then I drop acrylic medium onto it and pour acrylic paints and inks into the medium. I love the way the paint moves and I adore playing with the colours. After I made the skins I had to wait for them to dry so I thought I would try a dirty pour with my leftover paints. I poured different coloured paints mixed with the medium into one cup then sprayed a bit of WD-40 silicone into it. I actually tried to decant some silicone into a little tube so it would be easier for me to use but it didn't work and stank up the place anyway. In future I'm going to wear a gas mask when I do this. I'm very concerned about health and safety when painting. Then I poured the cup's contents onto an MDF coaster I had previously coated with gesso. It was a bit dirty but I covered that up later with paint. I tried to get the silicone within the paint to make cells by using the heat of a hairdryer but instead of making cells it blew the paint around, dried it and made texture. I didn't like that at all, so I decided to paint over it instead. And here's the end product. What do you think? Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If you'd like to watch more, click on the video to the right. If you'd like to help me make more videos, click on the left to donate a dollar to my Patreon account. And click on the circle in the middle to subscribe. Bye, sweethearts!